guys, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and demo of the new Polite Society line that just launched in Ulta. I think it just launched like a few days ago and I was so thankful because my Ulta actually had everything in person in store so that I was able to play with everything and check it all out and see what it looks like in person because sometimes you just want to see, you just want to look at things, you just want to touch them. I'm going to have everything linked for you guys. So you're going to click the view products button on the screen. That's going to pull up a little like scroll bar thingy ma bobber. You're going to be able to scroll through everything and see what I'm using and talking about while you're watching my video. And then if you click on the product on the scroll bar, you can easily, it just takes you on over and then you can easily shop it on Ulta. So these are exclusive to Ulta. These products wowed me. I'm not even being dramatic. Like I was, I don't know, I was like, okay, we'll try it out. Like I'm interested to see. I used them and I was like, oh wow, this is way better than I was expecting. So the very first thing that we are going to be testing out and talking about is the foundation. So this is called the Polite Society More Than a Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation. And this is a brand new brand. It's actually made, like the founder is Jared from Too Faced. I think that probably explains why the packaging is so darn cute. I didn't realize it until I like did a little research and then I was like, oh, okay, well that makes sense. So here is the actual packaging of the foundation. So it's actually got niacinamide and it's also got hyaluronic acid. So it's a skin caring foundation. So it's $42 and it is one ounce. It's on the kind of like mid range to high side. It's not super duper affordable, but it's not super duper. Like my Valentino is 60 something dollars. There's 30 shades all together. Like the way that they're named, it's light, cool, light, neutral, light, warm medium neutral medium you know what i mean so the way that they're like named is very easy to navigate this is medium neutral i don't know how it works for all of them but i would say the medium neutral is definitely got more of a yellow undertone than what i would normally go with for neutral so i would probably think about maybe picking up the cool it is vegan clean ingredients cruelty free it says medium to full coverage polite society more than a pretty face skin caring foundation is a skincare meets makeup hybrid that promotes healthy skin and delivers long wear medium to full coverage. I would say for me, this was definitely a medium. It's very skin like it's very lightweight on the skin. I wouldn't say it's a full coverage, but it's definitely a good solid medium coverage, maybe on the very, very low end of full It's long wearing. It's a natural luminous soft filter finish, which I agree with. It's buildable medium to full coverage. Like I said, solid medium on the very light side of full. Uh, immediate hydration instantly covers and conceals your unique skin concerns skincare meets makeup hybrid complexion perfecting on all skin types comfortable weightless wear completely agree easily blends into skin absolutely transfer resistant don't know i haven't tested it oxidation proof don't know i will be doing a wear test on tiktok so we'll be see we'll be looking at all those things clean formula cruelty free PETA approved, vegan, non-toxic, dermatologist tested, safe for sensitive skin, non-comedogenic, fragrance free. So the niacinamide aids in minimizing pores, the willow bark aids in brightening, and the vegan hyaluronic acid aids in plumping. So it's supposed to plump, brighten, and like minimize your pores, which we always love. And it's formulated without parabens, mineral oils, D5, cruelty, alcohol, fragrance, PEG, trolls, <laughs> nanoparticles, paraffins, bigotry, gluten, and silicone. It has the Too Faced vibes, you know? Like, it definitely is really, really cute packaging. So I got that, and again, that's $42. I will say, I've already got foundation all on the top of this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is, it's going to attract the foundation and kind of look a bit messy after a while. Um, the next thing I got was the blush palette. So as you can see, it already looks a bit messy because it's mirrored, but it's got four blushes. Now, I'm You'll see when I'm doing the video, this one, as soon as I opened it, it would it had already smashed. I got it from the store, so it must have smashed in shipping. Um, so I don't actually have this color. It literally all, it crumbled out. You'll see it. It crumbled all over me. Um, so it does have four shades. However, I'm missing one of them. This is more of a highlight shade. We've got two very beautiful peach blushes. And then this one is kind of like a, it's almost like a nudie kind of, Nudie mauve blush. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's not quite mauve, but it's definitely kind of more of a nude, a nude color. $39, and this is called the Go Flush Yourself Blush and Glow Face Palette. So this one that was in it was a highlighter. It was a glowy highlighter. It was actually really pretty. So I might have to just take this back 
and just get one that's not broken because I paid 39 bucks for it. I bought all the stuff myself. So this one says it includes three blushes and one highlighter in a multi-modern finish designed to be mixed, matched, and layered to achieve any look. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, love the packaging. This is a cute little mirror. This right here is the best color. It's like this gorgeous blush. Oh, <gasps> look at that. That's what sold me the palette was literally just that one color. Is this going to show? That's what sold it to me, was that right there. It's just this gorgeous, like, bright peach with, like, this really beautiful golden kind of sheen. Then we have this color, which is, like, a nice, like, it's just, like, a nice soft kind of pinky, pinky nude mauve color. It does have a sheen. There's a pretty, like, it's a nice good satin color. Then we have this peach color down here, which is just straight up, like, really pigmented a lot brighter than it looked in the palette so be careful because when i put it on i got a little wild and i'm a little bit blushy today but it's a really beautiful coral like true coral again there is a slight sheen but this one is the most like shimmery it's so so beautiful so yeah that was a bit of a bummer however the blush is gorgeous it's a must-have that glow is from that peach one, the like shimmery peach one. It literally just lights up the face. It is so, so stunning. I absolutely love it. So yeah, love Go Flush yourself, amazing. Okay, then I got the Big Mouth. This is called the Polite Society Big Mouth Lip Plumping Oil Gloss. What I think is really cool about this is that they offer two sizes. You can get the small one, which is what I got for $15. So if you just wanna try it out and you're like, I'm not looking to spend 27 right off the bat, you can get the little mini one. If you're like, actually, no, I want to go full size right off the bat, you can get the full size one for $27. So it is kind of nice. You can have like a little travel size one to keep in your bag. You can have the full size one on your makeup desk, or you can just always have the full size one, or you can just always have the little cute $15 one. When I saw the before and after, I was like, whoa, Nelly, that is a good before and after. This is what the actual packaging looks like. So it's kind of like this really pretty creamy, you know how normally lip plumpers are like just straight up clear? This one is actually kind of like a creamy, it's like a creamy clear, great wand, nice and fat and fluffy. It says, we'll blow your lips and your mind instantly and over time with our exclusive hydrating formula that's not for the faint of heart. It's got blueberry oil, which is hydrating, infinity pepper, aids in plumping, ginger root oil, aids in volumizing. This is spicy. This is no joke, you guys from the moment you put it on until the moment you take it off, your lips will be on fire. It is spicy. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's not, cause it is. Like, it gets in your mouth, it gets in your throat if you're not careful. If you lick your lips, your tongues, your tongue will be on fire. So if you're not, I'm used to plumping stuff, so for me it's like not that big of a deal, but if you're new to plumping stuff, like this is, this one is like legit, it's plumping, and it's, it's definitely spicy. 97% felt instantly plumper lips, absolutely. This. This plumps, like this makes your lips look so juicy, you will never have a wrinkle in there. 100% of subjects showed long-term hydration, instant and long-term plumping, instant and long-term hydration, high shine, glossy finish. Yeah, it's so glossy, it's so beautiful. Nourishing, cushiony texture, clean formula, cruelty-free, PETA approved, vegan, dermatologist tested. It says our exclusive oversized bunny ear applicator has a subtle scoop to hold and distribute the perfect amount of lip plumper every time. Yeah the perfect amount comes out. Like it's literally so perfect. I have no wrinkles in my lips right now. Every single wrinkle is plumped up. Nope, they're not 38 year old lips, they're young. This is a winner, this is a must have, everyone needs it. Like all I have on is this and a lip liner and that's it. I mean I have Benetton from when I put it on in the morning but like that's all that's on my lips. So you don't even need a lipstick with it. It gives you the most beautiful pinky glow. It's perfect. And then last but not least, in this lovely little Polite Society haul that I did for you, and these are the only products they have right now. Um, this is the Polite Society Greatest Lashes of All Time. They're not lying. You guys, everything in this line, I was like, oh, we'll give it a go, like, okay, cool. I don't think it's been hyped up enough because I literally just saw it on the website and then I, I went into the store, I saw the actual like little display and I was like, oh, cool, I'll give it a go. This is amazing. This is so amazing. You need it. Add it to your cart right now before it sells out because it's going to go viral. I guarantee it. Everyone's going to be talking about it. This mascara, look at my lashes. They look amazing. It's amazing. It's the legendary volume lift and length. 
360 degree grab and lift bristles that's exactly what i noticed when i was applying it i was like wow this is grabbing my lashes so well it's got vitamin b5 aids in reviving lashes it's got carn cow how do you say this carnauba 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 wax has a creamy texture olive wax aids in nourishing so it actually like is good for your lashes it says, go ahead and gloat about your insanely thick, lusciously long, and gravity-defying lashes. This long-wearing, mega-volumizing mascara serves straight-up lift, length, and curl without ever making your lashes look clumpy or feel weighed down. I think you definitely could get your lashes, lashes to look clumpy with this. If I use two coats, and they look perfect, but I think if you did three coats, you could, you could look clumpy. You guys, this mascara blew me away. When I was putting it on, I was like, what is this magic? It is freaking amazing. So I got the full size one because I don't like the mini ones because the wand is too short and then I end up getting crap everywhere. So this is um, the full size for $27. You can get the little travel size if you want to for 15, but then your, your wand is shorter and it ends up getting mascara all over the place. This does not get mascara on your upper lid, your lower lid, anywhere. Like, this is so clean. It doesn't mess up. You can't, you know how a lot of mascaras, but the Better Than Sex, for example, literally gets all over the place. I get it all over my lid. I hate that. It's so annoying because then I ruin my eyeshadow. This was so clean. It literally, I didn't get one boo-boo. 97% saw instant volume. 97% saw base to tip curl. Yes. This lifts and curls so well. 100% saw more defined lashes, 1000% more confidence. I mean, they're, they're not lying. Volumizing, lengthening, lifting, 12 hour curling, long wearing, non clumping, clean build of a formula, cruelty free, PETA approved, vegan, ophthalmologist tested, safe for sensitive eyes. Yes, because my eyes water with everything and my eyes are not watering. Um, safe for contact lens when lens wearers and it says our patent pending 360 degree tapered starburst brush with our exclusive crown tip adapts to all shapes and lash types with technology inspired by hook and loop to grab coat and lift each and every lash while our crown tip coats hard to reach inner and lower lashes as long as this comes off easily that's the true test because you know how some mascaras like they're just such a nightmare to remove and then you're you end up losing lashes because it's so hard to remove if that happens, it will not be my winner. But if this removes as easily as my Hypnos Drama, this is going to take over Hypnos Drama, like immediately. It's so much better than Hypnos Drama as far as what it does to my lashes. We'll see how it removes, that'll be the true test. But as of just like what it does to my lashes when I'm like wearing makeup, I'm, I'm actually obsessed. Like look, just look at those lashes. They're curled. They're fabulous, they're long, they're volumized. My eyes look so open, like the way that they lifted and like opened my eyes. You need it, not lying, you need it. So see how the wand is like kind of tapered, so it's like thicker at the base and then the tip is nice and like thinner. And the little brush, I mean the little, like it's not a brush, it's like a, you know, it's like a, um, a rubbery wand. The whole thing is just magic. I mean, it literally, the, the bottom lashes, it gets those really good. It's, it just grabs the lash and like, whoom, you know? Amazing, amazing. I cannot wait to see how it removes so that I can make this my new everyday mascara because my lashes, I don't think I've ever looked better. So let's go ahead and get into the actual first impressions demo of me applying it. You guys can see how the foundation looks. You can see me applying the mascara. You can see me applying the thing. You can see all the things, but I just wanted to kind of give you like a review up front. That way you guys can just be like, oh, okay, she loves it, you know? Like, then you guys can watch it and see it in action. But those are my thoughts. I've never been more impressed trying multiple products of a new brand before, ever, I think. Because literally every single product that I tried, and it's the whole entire line, I was like, oh wow, this is actually amazing. Like, this is so good. So leave it to Jared. I mean, he knows what he's doing when it comes to makeup and when it comes to packaging, the guy is good. I didn't realize like who came up with the brand until I looked them up on Instagram to follow them. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. It's the Too Faced guy. This guy knows what he's doing. He's done it before. He knows what works. He knows what sells. And you can tell because the packaging is all super duper beautiful. Like everything looks gorgeous. The products itself are amazing. And the price point, I would say 
you know, it's a it's a good prestige brand. It's not ridiculous. It's not super low. It's just kind of like a good mid mid to high range. Um, but I feel that I like the fact that they did make the little mini sizes of the lip glosses because it does make it a little bit more affordable if you are on a slightly you know, tighter budget and you're like, I really want that gloss, but I don't want to spend $27. You can get the little mini one for 15. And honestly, this will probably last you a good amount of time. The whole entire line that they currently have available, like these are all the products was, I think it came to like 170 something, um, like before tax. Let's go ahead and try everything on so you guys can see it in action. I'm really excited about this, you guys. I think a lot of people are going to be talking about it. You're going to see it all over TikTok. I guarantee, especially that mascara and the plumper. You're gonna see it everywhere. Let's get into it and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, I have no makeup on. I just got my brows laminated yesterday and tinted. That's no makeup. Oh. So we're gonna be trying out the new Polite Society foundation today. So I'm gonna prep my skin how I always do. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 hour matte setter and we are just gonna pop that all over my face. And um, today I'm gonna be doing a wear test on TikTok of the Polite Society Foundation. So I'm really excited to see how it wears. The packaging is really cute. I was so excited to see it at my Ulta. They didn't have very many um, shades available in my store. So I kind of got, I'm a little bit nervous. It might not match, but we'll find out. I really need a vampire facial. So we're gonna put the Matte Putty Primer from e.l.f. Just to fill in those pores, cause they are pouring. They're just really big. I swear, it's like when I don't have a vampire facial frequently, I feel like my pores just look huge. So I'm just basically putting it where my pores are just a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna put some down here. That's really for the wrinkles, not so much the pores. But I do have bigger pores around my mouth. Look, just along the edges of my lips so weird so here is the packaging of the polite society foundation so i got the color medium neutral and tan warm i wanted to get one darker than medium neutral but not quite as dark as tan warm oh that looks really okay yeah that might not be the color for me we'll see i think we're just gonna go in with the medium neutral okay so yeah let's get a close-up this is the packaging that's cute right it looks like a little egg and then you take off the top and then you just got a cute little pump top. So I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Maybe the neutral will be okay, actually. It's kind of going on nice and thin. This neutral is a little yellow, not gonna lie. It's definitely looking a little bit more on the yellow side, but it does look very skin-like on the skin. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I would say it's kind of like medium, but it's looking really glowy. I should have got a cool because this is definitely on the yellow tone of things. We'll make it work so it's okay. I can blend it out. I am using quite a lot of product. Um, a little bit more than I usually do with the Valentino. It doesn't spread quite as easily as the Valentino does. Okay, this is actually so beautiful on the skin. Do you guys see how pretty? It's like so thin and lightweight. It's so glowy, like it has such a nice like glow to the skin. It looks so healthy. Uh, the skin is just looking so beautiful though. So I'm really impressed with how my skin looks. It's very, very skin-like, very natural. And I don't have a ring light on or anything. This is just um, the, the window light. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with concealer. I would say the color was definitely a little off. I feel like maybe if I just went with a medium cool, it would have been better because their medium neutral is very, very yellow. So I think if you are my coloring, um, I would say, I don't know, try the cool because neutral is yellow very, very yellow. We can make it work with concealer and everything, but ideally I think I'd like something a little bit less yellow. So that was the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Touche Eclat. This has got a nice little bit of pink in it. So it really helps to like brighten and then it'll kind of help with this yellow tone that I've got going on now. 
with the concealer I think that's definitely kind of calmed down some of the yellow tone but it's still quite yellow so I think this this color is definitely not for me and the tan warm I'm just gonna take back without even swatching so I don't ruin it because that's really really dark I'm gonna go ahead and do all of my makeup and then we'll come back and we'll test out the mascara and the lip plumper and um, I'll show you guys like I'll show me applying it so you guys can see I just remembered they have a blush palette So I'm super excited. They also had a highlight palette, which I forgot about so it's like all into one This is called the polite society go flush yourself Blush and glow face palette vegan pigments happiness and joy plush powder textures kindness No parabens no trolls no talc no mineral oils the packaging is very oh, there's my camera So it's mirrored <laughs> But that's what it looks like on the back, you do have the colors right here, and then you open it up. Blush just went everywhere. Oh my god, what a freaking mess. <gasps> you guys, all on my cream chair. That, that whole thing was broken. I literally just bought this yesterday from Ulta. I put it in a bag very carefully, so that must have been broken, like, before I bought it. Um, that's annoying. Anyway, there's, there were four shades. This one was more of, like, a highlighter shade. You've got your two blush shades, and then you've got, this one's kind of, like, a, kind of a glowy blush shade. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one right here, which is, like, this really gorgeous, like, very, very glowy peach blush. We're just gonna pop that on the cheeks and I have not powdered yet I always like to do my blush first before I powder so that it really gets onto the skin like and then it stays really well oh my gosh that's so pretty that just like lights up the whole cheek with like the most gorgeous peachy glow oh <gasps> you guys that's amazing I'm not even mad the other one broke because I probably wouldn't even use it and now I don't even have to worry about it. Look at the glow. <gasps> That's so pretty. Okay, so I think we're gonna stick with that for now. I'm gonna go into powder and everything. Then we'll come back and try out the other products. But that blush, that was called One A Peach Of Me, I think. That's amazing. Okay, so I've done my powder, so now we're gonna move on to the actual lip product. There's literally blush all over the entire box, so just ignore that. This is called the Polite Society Big Mouth Lip Plumping Oil Gloss. They have two sizes. The mini one is 15, which is the one I got. You can get a full size for 27, but I thought, you know what, this is kind of a good size because it's just like little, small, I can keep it in my purse. I used it yesterday, you guys. My lips were spicy for hours. The spiciness does not go away until it basically wears off your lips. It's one color. It's got a nice wand. The wand is like a really good shape. And I've just put Pillow Talk lip liner and that's it. I have been a tint on that I put on this morning when I was doing my skin skincare. So I don't have a lipstick or any other color down. So we're just gonna put this like right on top of the lip liner and just kind of see what it does. My lips got massive and it was spicy. It also gets on your tongue and it gets in your throat. So if you don't like that, might not be the one for you. But if you want your lips to be huge, this is the one for you because it works. I definitely recommend getting the excess out from like the this part of your lip because once it gets in your mouth, your tongue will be on fire. It isn't got a great scent. I don't like the scent. It smells like a spicy plumping lip gloss. So I feel like the scent could be better. It's got blueberry oil, which aids in hydration. It's uh, got infinity pepper. Oh, no wonder. Literally, it gets in your mouth, in your throat. The infinity pepper aids in plumping, and then it's got ginger root oil, which aids in volumizing. So it's actually a really interesting little combo. It says, get ready to blow your mind and your lips up instantly and over time with our exclusive hydrating formula that's not for the faint of heart. They're not lying. Infused with a shot of our special blood dilating complex supercharged with blueberry oil, organic infinity pepper, and ginger root oil. Yeah, basically it's spicy. It's like super spicy. That's all I can say is that it works. 
It pumps up your lips amazingly, but you can feel it for hours. Like the whole, from the minute I, t I put it on until the minute it was off, it was spicy. It, the spice never died down, but you can see it's like really doing a good job of giving me like a really pretty kind of pinky tint to my lips. And then also just like plumping up really, really well. I'm gonna do my eyes and my, my uh, brows and then we'll come back for the mascara. Okay, so I have a new mascara to try. So I've curled my lashes. This is the Polite Society Greatest Lashes of All Time Mascara. Before and after looks insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my primer on first. This is the Seals Booster. I use this with my regular mascara anyway. So I'm gonna use it the same that I always do. Do you know what I mean? I would never use mascara without a primer usually. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do it so that it's, a good, it's giving it a fair trial because if I use my Hypnos Drama without the primer, it's crap. So I'm gonna do two coats of the primer and then we'll go into the mascara. This is what the actual tube looks like. And then the wand, it is a rubber wand. You guys know those are not my favorite, but we'll try it out. It doesn't feel stabby, it actually feels quite soft. I like how it's like tapered because it's like really thick at the back and then it goes skinny at the tip so you can like really get in there. It also feels quite flexible. Holy crap, I think this might actually be the mo most amazing mascara. Also, I bought all this stuff with my own money. Polite society does not know I am alive. <gasps> you guys, I think I just found the best mascara ever. It really like grips the lashes, like it really gets in there and like grabs them. I love this wand, it's so good. It's soft, it's flexible, it's the perfect size, it gets in there, it's not too bulky, I'm not getting mascara all over my upper eyelid. Okay, that is one coat. What do we think? That's freaking amazing, OMG. I'm gonna do two coats. That's normally how many I would do with my Hypnos Drama. You guys, this mascara is actually amazing. Oh my God, this is, this is worth it. I got the big one, they have a small one for 15 or the big one for uh, 27. I just think the wand, it's always nicer when you have more of length you know, more here, cause then it's less messy. That's what the wand looks like. So you can see how it's tapered. It's amazing. That's only two coats. Like, my, my, my lashes are lifted. They're fanned out. They're voluminous. Let's see what it claims. It says, go ahead and gloat about your insanely thick, lusciously long and gravity defying lashes. This long wearing mega volumizing mascara serves straight up lift length and curl without ever making your lashes look clumpy or feel weighed down. They're like up. They are so, this is amazing. This mascara is amazing. Oh my gosh. I cannot even believe how like open and awake my eyes look. I'm going to brush off all my bake and we'll come back and see everything. So I am going to go ahead. I put my under eye brightener on. I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here, which is called ripe and ready. And we're just gonna touch up our blush. This one doesn't have a whole lot of glow. It's mainly just like a nice peachy color. Oh, <gasps> okay, that was a little bit more pigmented than I thought it would, would be. I'm just gonna soften that up. <gasps> that was really pigmented. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that pigmented. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with that glowy one, this one up at the top here, just to add a little glow. I'm also gonna take that up on the forehead a little bit and just on the nose. And then I always finish off with the Lottie London Diamond Bounce and I just kind of go over the top of my highlighter with this and it's really pretty because it adds like a really gorgeous like sparkle to the skin. I think that blush went a little bit crazy and like I literally cannot blend it out. That is intense, that bottom one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Pixi Clarity Mist. I love this as a setting spray, it's amazing. Also, just ignore the construction next door. What is wrong with this? Why is it not? Okay, 
Okay guys, there's the finished look. No ring light. The blush did go a little wild, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't the top one, it was that one. That one's really pigmented. So just be careful, cause I feel like I it didn't look like it was gonna be that pigmented and I kinda went to town and I have a little bit of a strip, but yeah, the, the blush is a little wild. The other one though was amazing, like the glow that it gives your cheek. The whole thing is just glowing, it's so pretty. I loved them on my lid. It's like a really nice, like kind of peachy natural look. This lip product is so good. Like my lips look so beautiful. I don't have any lipstick on, it's just a lip liner and this, and I feel like the color of them looks amazing. The shine and this mascara, the mascara is absolute must have. The lashes look amazing. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed with this line. And the foundation is looking great. It's looking really beautiful. I think the color is still, I think it's slightly off, but it's fine because I think that I made it work. I just think I need to get something that maybe says like cool instead because I do have self tanner on right now. And I still feel like it was like way too yellow. So color's a little, color's a little tricky but foundation so far looks beautiful and I will be doing a wear test on TikTok so I will include those TikToks here in the description box so that you guys can check it out and see how it wore. I'm very impressed. I'm just adding some of the cognac candy just for a little sparkle and I'm ready to go. I guess I could take these out so that my hair doesn't look so ridiculous. Let's, well, actually my hair does look ridiculous because I really need to wash it like super duper bad. It's kind of crazy. It's fine. It's looking almost dreadlocky. <laughs> it's really dirty. There we go, that's fine. I'm very excited about this, you guys. I'm gonna say out of everything, I would say the mascara and the lip gloss are the absolute winners. And then the blush, this one is the winner. The top one, that like really pretty glowy peach is, is my favorite. And the foundation, like so far, went on beautifully. Looks really, really pretty on the skin. Um, love the packaging. Easy to use, looks very glowy. It's also got skin caring ingredients in it. So, so far so good. We'll see how it, how it wears on my skin because I'm really oily. But as of right now, I think everything looks beautiful. And let me go ahead and turn on the ring light. Because this is just me sitting in front of the window. And then I'll just actually put the light on. And then you guys can see what it looks like with the light. So that's what the skin looks like with the light on. So you can see the glow. Yeah, everything looks really, really pretty. It looks beautiful. I'm very, very impressed with this, you guys. Like, I was not expecting to love these products as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. I will have everything linked. Um, just click the view products button and, on the screen and then it will pull up and you'll be able to scroll through all the products I showed you guys here today. And uh, yeah, gr grab the mascara and grab the lip oil or the plumber before it's gone, you guys. I'm telling you, those are must-haves for sure. Okay, bye.